nerd soul. Yo, I'm ready when you are. Lay ill kid at one young still holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people? Two day all year coming with another wonderful episode of that's right i ain't gonna lie to you it's on screen plus a little bit of movie reviews because we are gonna get into the marvel cinematic universe phase number four now i'm pretty sure you like oh man look it's the end of the year you trying to talk about the phases come on dog Come on, man. You ain't got to be doing all that like that, you like- bro. You ain't got... Come on, man. It, like, it's... with The year's over. But I'm like, yo, man. I got to talk about... Because I try, I try to be nice every now and then. And someone wrote in. They said, hey, look. Are you going to talk about Phase 4? We want to see what your review is going to be like. And I say, you know what? I think... You know what? I think I could actually do that. You know what I'm saying? And I want to give a shout out to Howdy Howdy Dut One E said, yo, can we get an MCU ranking episode? I said, you know what? I think I could do phase four just to start. Maybe phase four. So with that said, I ain't by myself. Oh no, no, no. And we got some people rolling through. So I want to give a shout out to Gift real quick. Gift, introduce yourself. Hey, this is Gift, Gift a Bailu, Gift, Gift Time a Bailu, coming with Gift Time Rugby and uh, uh, Geeks Without Borders. Uh, Got to rock it out for the other podcast. Uh, you know, I'm ready for this defense, and I'm gl- so glad Jason's gone through because I'm ready to properly defend Phase Four from the haters, the unbelievers, those who <laughs> do not realize how amazing what they got and how they're going to appreciate Uh-oh. it much more after phase five. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Now, <laughs> now I will say this. Uh, shout out to uh, Jason Reeves is in the house. Uh, Jason Reeves, we just straight doing audio, so you ain't got to worry about the video or nothing. You can chill back, lay back, kick your feet up. But I want to introduce y'all to Jason Reeves. Say what's up. Hey, it's, it's weird. I can't see myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so, um, the droning in the background is uh, comics printing. Uh, so you know, Ooh. sorry. Be you know what I'm saying? He, he's what doing big flex. things. He's doing what big flex. things. You know, he, he's doing big things. So um, hey, yo, just making comics out here. Ain't he's no like, biggie. you know, I'm just making <laughs> comics. You know, like a boss. No big deal. So um, I'm gonna run the the phase four in. I'm gonna do it in the in the time of its like its actual appearance like you know what i'm saying because of course you know we had the movies and stuff but since we have tv shows in there i want to do it in the chronological order you know what i'm saying because there's some stuff maybe we haven't seen it all maybe we have maybe we haven't and since i got i got the collective here i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna say a topic we can either give it the thumbs up or the thumbs down and then just give us give us some reasons you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna start the first thing in the t- in the chronological order is the I Am Group shorts for Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, I'll set this off with saying I'll give it a half a thumbs up. I think it's cool for the kids. They weren't all great, but they weren't all bad. Anyone else with me? <laughs> Any, anyone else? Anyone go change my mind with a thumbs up? I'm gonna be perfectly real with you. I didn't watch one episode of <laughs> I Am I, I I I took one look at it. I was like, this has nothing to do with anything. And I I I almost wanted to look back and be like, hey, maybe I can check. But yeah, I I, I didn't even waste my time. <laughs> it didn't. It yeah, didn't. Was, it, it ain't. Was, it it was inconsequential. But I mean, it, it was cute for the kids. It was it was there was some cute, you know, some cute episodes in there. I will I will admit. No, I, was, I was never gonna watch. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> Okay, so now we get we move on to the very next thing. Ha ha. She's a she's a woman that uh she's been trained. Some might say by the best. Black Widow. Are we are we, I'm gonna start with Jason. Are we giving it a thumbs up? What are we doing? Uh the movie? Yeah. I'm I'm gonna go and give it a thumbs up. It was it was uh it, it's a very serviceable thumbs up. Mm. Serviceable. Okay, okay. All right, gift. Yo, I give it a thumbs middle, only because <laughs> of the fact it, you 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 felt the you felt the time lapse. Like 
the, the movie's time period for when it got released just it threw it all off. But the reason why it doesn't go all the way down is because uh, um, the the supporting cast was hilarious. Freaking uh, what's his name? Uh, Red uh, uh, Hopper. Hopper. Yeah, Hopper. Yeah, whoever. Great. And then uh, uh, y- 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 Yelena. Great. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. The really the biggest negative of it was just what they did with Taskmaster. That was that was really the biggest negative. The rest of it, it was it was fine. Thumbs medium, right there. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to give this a thumbs down. Um, okay, <laughs> okay. In general, this movie looks great. It's high production. You know, Marvel did its thing. You know, the cameras and the lighting and the costumes and all that. The Taskmaster <laughs> thing is kind of egregious, in my pair. In my, <laughs> and I don't care if it's a woman or not. I just like. Just have her be Taskmaster, though. Like, yeah. don't have her be kind of like the Terminator. Also, the the body when she took off that helmet, that was not her body. <laughs> it, it was almost as egregious as whenever they made her, uh, what's his name Ares in Wonder Woman one with uh, the bearded man and that skinny skinny old oh, head, and you're just yeah. like, yo, this doesn't match up. That was kind of weird. Y'all switch them out. Yeah, that was kind of weird. At, um, at least that can like change the shape. I mean, true, true. Like, I, now I did. I knew from the jump. I don't know if I told Mike this uh, uh, when we combo, but I knew it was gonna be a woman from the jump. So that right. never bothered me. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Same. Yeah, it was just but, uh, yeah, yeah. It, but I mean, you know, try to trick me. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> at least try. And, and, and also, I absolutely agree with the uh, like, um, uh, just just kind of a misstep at the same time. Though. Like, really, you know, like, <laughs> like is that what we're doing? It's, they right. almost and, did. They almost did what they did with Deadpool in the Wolverine movie, where like yeah, Taskmaster right. doesn't speak, and also Taskmaster is Taskmaster is kind of the Terminator, sort of. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where it, where. Taskmaster, Taskmaster should be uh, uh, their own character. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like yep. Taskmaster has a cool personality, and that could translate to you know a woman character. That's not a big deal. But like the whole idea of, I, I love the juxtaposition of, of uh, professional hitman or or, or killer or, or mm-hmm. um, a mercenary. And also kind of a goonish personality, you know, for uh, for Taskmaster. I, I always like that about uh, the character, right? Like, he's not a yeah boss goon, but he's more <laughs> like a... He kind of, in, in every interpretation of him, he seems like sort of an everyman kind of right. Uh, professional, right? And, I, and right. I love that about uh, that character. So they could have translated that over... And I think that would have been that would have played great in juxtaposition to uh, the Black Widow crew, you know, because right. they're all kind of uh, Russian professionals, you know, and, mm-hmm. and and could have been an American professional or whatever. Right. But it didn't, I don't think they developed the idea for this character. Any like I don't think they spent a lot of time. No. Yeah, that ironic. Was- ironically, I I felt like the character for Crossbones, and again. It doesn't have to be the guy, but the character of Crossbones would have been a much better fit as a character mm. past master than Absolutely what they did with agree. that. <laughs> Absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. That's a good assessment. I agree. Word up, word up. Now, the other reason I give it a thumbs down is because the the villain that they kill in this, the sort of like, I guess, well, maybe not the universe implications, but the worldwide implications <laughs> are huge for a villain like this you know someone who's essentially able to like install and uninstall like diplomats and stuff like that like that's someone good to keep around like they don't have to be i mean of course that person isn't thanos or or, you know kang but that's someone that can you know be be an issue for you down the line um so i was like ah i feel like they should have kept someone that or organization that powerful because just the implications for 
you know, kind of like the street level, even the street level heroes problems could have been great from a situation like that. But, you know, Marvel got to do their thing. So, I mean, you know, the thing is, I understand why they had to do it, because with every other villain that's literally coming up down the line, you're it, at some point. It was it's like, yo, you have a conflict of so many villains that are basically doing the exact same thing uh, you got Illuminati yep. doing the same thing you got True. the secret invasion people doing the same thing you got uh, you know eventually kang in his own format doing it it's like i forgot kingpin exactly mm -hmm. it was just like and, and the other thing would have been like how do we explain him being gone basically for what would have been the equivalent of almost a decade uh, and, and not existed because, you know, obviously goes back to the poor placement of when that movie came out. Should have came out right after Civil War, like it was set to. But yeah, that that I, movie should have came out no later than Civil War. Yeah, like a Black Widow movie probably would have been best served like right after Avengers, maybe. But I'll, I'll let that. I'll, I'll go in and let that flow. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna mess with. I ain't gonna mess with Scar Joe too much. I ain't trying to get sued. You know what I'm saying I ain't trying to get sued. I know how she do. Don't let him. Don't let her catch you. That's another mm -hmm. twenty million out your pocket right there. So um, I want to slide. I want to slide off to a, a, another young lady. Uh, she's not a good guy uh, by any stress of imagination. Uh, WandaVision. You know we got we got our little TV show. You know, our first our first foray. No, was our second foray? First foray. First. Yeah, first, first foray. First. first foray into the Marvel television. Well, the Marvel Cinematic Universe television. <laughs> like the Marvel proper. <laughs> you know, we're gonna talk about Agents of Shield, which was sometimes great, sometimes yeah. But yeah, yeah, WandaVision, yeah. I'll, th <laughs> I'll throw it to you, gift. WandaVision, thumbs up, Wanda thumbs down. WandaVision? Wanda, let me tell you how many. And I don't have enough thumbs up. I, where's uh -oh. Croatia's goalie to be able to give me enough oh, thumbs snap. up to multi hand? All right, like this was the show. I have every show has been compared to this show for me from day one. Mm. There's been no show that created as much anticipation, that built up as much Easter egg, that just made you like it turned you into a crackhead. I was a crackhead of Marvel at that point. Like before, I was just a cokehead. All right, I was just like, "Yo, I like my hits. I get a rush." But that show, like, it was like it mixed it in. All right, whatever it is, Nexus Point mixed it. Ah, I love that one. This this was great. I don't care what people say about the ending. I'm here for your CGI battle versus CGI. Your characters of the same power <laughs> going against each other. I, I'm here for all of it as long as we got a great mystery going into it. Like every story that's got branched out for it. I have nothing but anticipation, which also kind of affected what would be the following on one side of it. And, you know, I have a lot of anticipation on the other one, but do I have enough hand? Like three million thumbs up. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Mr. Reeves, do you share this sentiment? Listen, I'm going to say hindsight is 2020. And I know okay. you're going to be surprising to some of the Jason Reeves uh, uh, followers here. Uh-oh. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Ah. And let's go. Anybody that has been following this show and following my video, you know, no. <laughs> that I previously hated this show, but in light of the, the, the offerings to come behind it, <laughs> I will say <laughs> that the... The offerings behind it, uh, most of them, I will say, has brought this show up in in, in Mr. Reeves' opinion. Um, Once you have something to compare it to, man, things change. Exactly. Compared to uh, uh, the the craftsman, craftsmanship and the narrative structures of these other things, this show looks like in-game. <laughs> 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 So I am going to I'm going to look out for my one division folks and give them a thumbs up. Um Switch. because Switch I will say this insult. Uh oh. <laughs> I will say this. It wasn't my it's not it's, and it's still not my cup of tea. I do not like those characters. I want them all to fail. However, <laughs> it is 
it is a um it is a i can out of all of the marvel shows it is, this is one of them at least that i would rewatch and be like this is not um this is not a bad uh a badly conceived or created show um okay. structurally uh, uh uh craftsmanship is great um it's not lazy writing is good so i give wandavision even though i cannot stand pretty much in the, in the show <laughs> except for maybe darcy and um <laughs> Which, that, that, that speaks to writing right there your boy um we, darcy we, and your boy yeah. from uh your boy from fresh uh, off the boat yo yeah yo <laughs> i, I kind of want them plays, to have a show he plays what is what character is he playing uh character uh from? shoot from ant-man um, i don't know uh like yeah, Fred. i don't it, know what his name he's is from, <laughs> no, he's, from, he, he's from another book though he plays the character from uh G- what G- damage the, control the, or something the, no, no, not damage controls. Like the <laughs> secret something, like a secret spy yeah. or anyway, something. To that anyway, list. I can't remember the character's name, but him and Darcy, I'm fine with. Um, the rest of them, I could take a leave, including Captain Marvel, uh, Mon- Monica Rambeau. Sorry, guys. My <laughs> goodness. My oh, goodness. My do that. goodness. <laughs> I do not like black characters who come on and their agency is all to save the other characters no Doesn't yes. work. and that's work. exactly why i'm going to come through with the three quarters thumb all right i'm oh, not going to give it a middle thumb i'm gonna give it a three quarters i'm gonna give it a three quarters thumb you know what i'm saying because the 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 vision conversation does a lot for me in this show the the conversation between the two visions yeah then then the fact that darcy and your boy from fresh off the boat are like awesome together but jimmy woo by the way jimmy woo is his character jimmy woo Woo. so um but also uh monica ram okay monica is dope like the actress the the character they're fine but they essentially they give my 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 friend something to do though they didn't yes. give my friend something to do well was she was she did have there. something to do she was there to absolve the white woman of any guilt for what she did yeah. <laughs> Man, i was reading a meme the other day and they were talking about the show and they go uh wanda it's like a it's like a a, a black woman talking to wanda on the phone or something like that oh yeah people <laughs> And she's like, girl, now this girl helped you deliver your baby and and and, and you threw her through dimensions. What is wrong? You know, like, like you know? and I was like, man, what a it, I was so disappointed that they essentially created one of one of their best black characters on screen. I mean, in the comic books, they created her on screen to give Juan to scapegoat, um, to help scapegoat Wanda. Uh, from all the absolve her, like you said, of all the wrongdoing. Yeah, because it's like, yo, <laughs> you held a whole town hostage, basically. Like the right. one of the women asked if one of, if her kids could come outside. Like that's they like, that right. come on, man. Like someone said, someone asked her if they could just die. Like come on, man. Like right. it, it's come come on. Like, but she was they, like, they don't know. They don't know what you've Are been through. I'm like, what? <laughs> know what agatha well agatha did, i mean she didn't do nothing but you know she, she, yes, she wanda stopped her from the potential of messing with that town that by messing with the town she she let them know hey understands uh, all right you, you, you got trauma you know what she did you know what she did she helped them with their trauma from the snap all right she wow. said oh, okay <laughs> If you want real trauma, let me show you real trauma. <laughs> oh and, uh, boy! By, now I will say by this: creating, by creating a black character to 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 help want to help absolve Wanda was one of the most disingenuous disingenuous choices in like TV history. Like, yeah, that was, so, that was like it was just, it nice, just you know, when um, when she like, said when she said they don't know what you've been through. I was like, what? <laughs> Wait, hold on, what? I was like, yo, but <laughs> hey, at least works. It's like, we gotta save this girl. She's been through a lot. I was like, what? You've been through a lot. 
<laughs> yeah, at least at least we got the Agatha All Along remix. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to that. You know what I'm saying? That that was right. that was heat. You know what I'm saying? Right. That, you know what I'm saying? That that was that was still hotness. So I mean that, and they they pulled that out the the official trap remix. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> So that that was good. So we got that. <laughs> but Wanda, I ain't gonna mess with you. We 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 gonna talk about you again, Wanda. Don't don't worry. Don't you worry. Don't you worry your pretty little head. We gonna be back. Uh, I want to talk about a karate man. All right, he's no he's a karate man on the outside, and he's a karate man on the inside. I want to talk about Shang Chi. All right, so. <laughs> I, you know what? I'll start this one off. I think I can give. I think I, I might end up giving this one a half thumb two. You hold on. You hold on. Well, okay. This is why I want to give him a half thumb because the father is awesome as an actor and i'm like why did we get rid of him and also the beef between him and his son and daughter i think yeah. there's i think there's more story there that we could you know what i'm saying i, I think there's some more there and i think we kind of got rid of him a little fast but also a half thumb you know why you come on they put that they put that woman in this movie and thought i won't go say nothing all right <laughs> come on now they, they thought i won't go say nothing <laughs> Now, no, they thought I forgot. You know what I'm saying? When, when we got, uh, when we got, um, like other other uh, Asian women sitting around, that's mad funnier, funnier than her, and they ain't said nothing funny about black people. So I mean, you know, I mean, you know, you, you got that too. But um, also, I feel like this one's effects were kind of half baked, and they didn't really come with it that dragon at the end was not yeah it was, won't it won't hit on it that it, was straight cgi for fugazi yeah <laughs> i felt like they they could have they could have gave him a little more props now i will yeah. give him a plus that that kind of like leather jacket thing they gave him or whatever that's nice that is nice <laughs> that little leather yeah. shirt or whatever that's nice i will give him that but that that cgi at the end it was like ah uh, and oh no i forgot they never showed us the fight scene in the restaurant that they alluded to in the trailer and then in a movie they cut the they cut the camera away i'm like bro come on now like so yeah i'm gonna I'm have to half thumb this i do think there's some cool fight scenes in there i don't think tony lung is doper than a lot of people like give him credit for he's been around for a minute it, shoot michelle yo been around for a minute like mm -hmm. the he ain't gotta be dead. We need we need some more life. But you know what I'm saying? Then you get the you get the stuff like cutting away the fight scene that you allude to in the trailer that got me hyped. Then I don't even get to see it. Man, <laughs> y'all gonna get a half thumb for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jason, what you got? Listen, act one, act two, I'm all about it. And I give him a thumbs up. I ain't about Act three was kind of tacked on for me. Like I kind of feel like the whole army versus the dragon versus the yeah, I ain't need all that. I really didn't need like armies fighting armies, a la uh, uh, Lord of, every Lord of the Rings movie we ever seen and show we ever seen. <laughs> I ain't need all that. Sure. Um, the dragon, I absolutely agree with the CGI. Also, I just thought the design of the dragon wasn't great. Like y'all, y'all could have went harder. Like. Uh, it was just, I, I thought, y'all had so many characters that y'all could have used for that, but y'all created something else. I was, like, I never heard of, you know, whatever they called them, the one that should not be named or whatever. What about Fin Fan Fu, man? Like, Fin Fan Fu right there, man. Let's go. You know, if you want to go that route. Um, But I did enjoy the movie. I liked a lot of stuff about it. Like, I liked, I liked uh, Simu Liu. He was good. Um, mm -hmm. I, I liked that his sister also was kind of like finding her own way through the maze, even though the daddy was kind of like, you know, kind of let, left them to their own devices. Um, yes, I agree. Tony Lung, the man, he was, he was, he was fire. Like, he was, right. he would have been Shang-Chi if you asked me. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> just the old thing. Yeah, I've been like for sure. Yeah, um, but would you get 10 years, 15, 20 years of uh, acting more out of him? Uh, for a series? Maybe. I mean, you know, maybe. <laughs> He's still up there kicking. <laughs> you know, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe 10. Maybe 10. And having an older hero might change the dynamic of, like, the, I guess, maybe the wisdom or the team or whatever. If they, ever, if they ever become a team, who knows? Let's be real. Marvel ain't about to like franchise this like they franchise Thor. Come on, man. Like, oh, I mean, I, know, I don't know. I know, we, I know we pat them on the back for diversity and all that stuff, but mm, I don't I, like. Since, yeah, since there ain't there ain't about to be five Shang Chi movies. I I I think it's gonna be, there's gonna be at least three. There's gonna be at least three that come out of it and then from there it's it's what do we get from there but it depends on who's going to end up writing it and and that authenticity because whatever they do uh, it's so much or so dependent on the guy what how well he does with um uh, War. uh, uh see, I mean, yeah, War. exactly yeah, dynasty. Yeah. Dynasty. Yeah. dynasty yeah uh, like yeah. that's going to be dependent on what happens to shang chi because i feel like they're trying to get a russo's brother situation out of him but i mean he's unproven that's that, which is yeah. which is why is that, that's going to be the prove it movie. That's going to be the yeah. prove it movie. Uh, yeah, it will. But <laughs> I agree. <laughs> but but the issue that, that that's why I'm saying like I don't know. I agree with you that the, the I'm sure the mandate or the uh, initial plan is always a trilogy. That's just how it works now. Right. But yeah. I I don't see the hype. Of 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 like post Shang Chi hype, like even when Black Panther came out, oh, what are they gonna do for for number two? Like that has been going since Black Panther come, came out. Mm-hmm. I don't hear any of that for Shang Chi, yeah. and and I'm not blaming the fans or us. I'm talking about the companies. Like I, they they're bum. I and actually, I, get, I was in an offline conversation. I think. I think there's a societal reason of why we haven't had the the response to Shang Chi that uh, existed with Black Panther. But I don't mm-hmm. want to push this conversation, this podcast, too far. But the uh, okay, you're looking at two different two different demographics in general, yeah. and these two different demographics are both minorities. But these two minorities may have not been treated the same way and may not have been may have not felt represented the same way and yeah. that misusage or lack of representation may have affected these two different demographics different yeah i think yeah. I'll, i think that's i think that's the best I way mean, i can say it without <laughs> I mean, well, we, we we can say, look, we we have seen Asians in martial arts movies forever. Right? Like that wasn't anything new. Let alone, but we get the other flip side whenever we're seeing a positive outlook of Afrofuturism, Africa, uh, irregardless of whether it's a fictionalized land or not. Like, like, oh, we can go into it. Don't worry, I don't. You don't need to say it nicely, Mike. Hey, man, <laughs> black people got crappy representations, and yeah. I'm not gonna say Asians got the best. I'm just saying. I'm just saying it is. It's diminutive in a different way. And they, ha- and they also, even though Hollywood hasn't really given them love, they've always had their own cinema to kind of like lean on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They've, they've, been like, they've been like, hey, Hollywood's whack, but we always got, you know what I'm saying, our own kind of cinema. We, you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I know Nigel cinema and stuff. I know that I know Nollywood out there, but it's like, it ain't, you know, it it's ain't really... Same. It's, it's, it's not. It's, no, not, it it's not the same. It's not the same thing. We're still yeah. doing. Yeah, it ain't the same. Yeah. But <laughs> for me, I just before we continue on, because I, I know we're ready. I gave Shang Chi a uh, thumbs down. Ooh. I thought I came in. Oh, I, 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 I look. I, I, I think I was a victim of its own hype because when it came out, it was like right at my wedding, so I had to watch it later on. But for me, I didn't think the fight scenes were that incredible. I like Simi Liu. He's a good actor. I yeah, am yeah, he's cool. lukewarm on Aquafina for many reasons. Michelle Yeoh <laughs> and everything. But 
the movie itself was not really dynamically that great of a story to me. It was outside of the even the father son conflict that everybody hyped up. I was like, this is kind of downplayed uh, a, a bit more than I was expecting it to be. I again still love the individual characters, and I feel like the love story of uh, uh, Tony Lung and um, Shang Chi's mother was a far more interesting story to me than the actual Shang Chi father Shang Chi sister situation. And then just the most aggravating thing that Shang Chi. I mean, they, they didn't say it, but they basically implied got with Aquafina and like they're a couple like that made no sense to me. I was like this. They, they don't got yeah, no kind they of never, chemistry. They like never that. really had. They barely had friend chemistry. Yeah. And they now I will say I, I said this when the first uh, when they first announced uh, the movie, I was like, look, Disney, you got a tall order because Asian cinema has existed for a long time. And they've done a lot of cool fights, a lot of cool stuff. And I don't know if you're going to be able to top this type of things we've seen. Because, and I mean, I was listening, even if you want to talk about kind of the, maybe the softer, less blood side of something like Crouching Tiger. Yeah. Or if you want to talk about something like The Raid and The Raid 2. You know what I'm saying? So, or if you want to get into stuff like any of the Jackie Chan stuff or any Jet Li stuff or Donnie Yen stuff. Like, I was like, y'all gonna have to come with these fight scenes. And I will agree, their fight scenes were solid. They were okay. They, they were perfectly normal, like Marvel Disney fight scene. The yeah. one place the, the one place that I will give them Shang-Chi the most credit was I I, I loved it. Uh unlike Jason, I loved it when they went into that uh into the 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 Chinese uh ancient world, the it's Chinese fantasy ancient world. To be able to see the depiction of uh, the Chinese dragon, the tigers, the cat, the the fantasy characters that you see from the stories in the book mm, being depicted okay. in uh, this, even though CGI, but CGI live action kind of look, and just to kind of see them moving as opposed to just a two D depiction, I was mesmerized by that, and that one <laughs> sold me far more. The the, the <laughs> reference to Chinese culture was really the one part that saved it but everything else it was like i so mean i'm not, I'm not so it's not it's not i didn't hate the i didn't hate that i actually love exactly what you love about it it was um, just a, the a little fighting scene. Mind, but i love it but the idea that this small village had all these warriors and now they're right. about to do, I don't know, like like if it was if they had just went to the village and went through the world and that was that, I'm fine with that. That's but fair. Tacking on That's, the whole the war thing seems yeah. Very good. yeah, yeah. I mean, the, look, I was annoyed by the fact that Aquafina went from an amateur ar no. uh, archer into a freaking bullseye, Hawkeye targeting system. Homegirl got nice with it. Right, within a, within three days. And like, this is a whole my Christmas movie. Like, that part, I was like, what are you doing? Maybe, like, maybe they had, like, magical... <laughs> I don't know juice or tea or something. I don't know. They, they gave they, her they skills. Took, she they <laughs> gave her steroids. She was she was Aquafina <laughs> the Rock Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs>